Now, what I want to talk about is uh, Eminem and Dr. Dre coming together once again, Shady slash Aftermath, to sign a new rapper. Yes. Uh, this guy is from Las Vegas. He goes by the name of Easy Mill. Easy M I L. And uh, he's probably got one of the illest photos on Instagram right now. Eminem posted it. Dr. Dre posted it. And of course, that Easy Mill guy posted it. This is fucking. This is like the 50 Cent moment, but without the buzz, you know? Uh, he's got Dr. Dre behind him, Eminem behind him, and he's posing. Which is a hard ass photo. I ain't gonna lie. If I, if I, this is this is this is my dream essentially. If I dropped a photo like that with my documentary on Get Rich or Die Trying, I had Doc Dre or Fifty or Eminem Fifty behind me, you know, with some crazy pose. That would be fucking legendary. So salute to this guy. Uh, big round of applause, to this guy, for getting Eminem and Dr. Dre to collaborate together to sign him. I believe I could be wrong on this. You guys might be able to correct me on this. I looked this up. I don't know. I can't find anything relating to this. I believe. The last time Dr. Dre and Eminem collaborated together to work with an artist was 50 Cent. Uh, I don't think Obi Trice was on Aftermath. I don't think anybody, Yellow Wolf, uh, Slaughterhouse, or any of these people, they're all on Shady Records. 50 and M actually collaborated with, with uh, not 50 and M, but Dre and M collaborated with 50, you know, to get him out there. Uh, so this guy has got the backing of Dr. Dre and Eminem. So clearly they hear something in this guy that we... I checked out his songs. I'm not going to lie. I checked out some of the records. Uh, it is a little bit different. It's interesting. He's he's a singer slash rapper, so he can do a lot. Great flow. I enjoyed what I heard based off the tracks. I've only heard like three tracks. I didn't listen to the whole uh, album. He has like an album called Duality. Or Duality is D-U-4-L-I-7-Y. Yeah, Duality. I don't know. Some shit like that. This is interesting. Let's see. So let's go over the article. Uh, Eminem and Dr. Dre have inked a joint deal with up-and-coming Las Vegas rapper Easy Mill, signing the 24-year-old 24 year to Interscope Aftermath and Shady Records. On Wednesday, uh, M took to Instagram to announce the signing of Easy. Me and Dre back at it. He wrote, check uh, Ezekiel Miller, a.k.a. Easy Mill, out. Uh, link in bio. He then moved to Twitter to confirm that the rapper's up-downside step-and-walk music video. Uh, which dropped earlier this year, was the reason for the signing. So they saw the song Up, Down, Step, and Walk, uh, the music video. They saw it, uh, and the Eminem said, this is why we signed him. I checked out the track. It's a pretty good track. Um, but clearly, they got to they gotta hear something in this guy more than what, what he did. And I saw somebody say something that was interesting. Uh, this guy, one guy commented, or somebody said something. I don't know who. I don't know if it's a person commenting or somebody on Twitter or something. They said this guy should have built his buzz up a little bit more before he actually signed a deal with them because he's just going to get shelved. And I can see where where people are coming from from that because a lot of Eminem's artists and a lot of Dr. Dre's artists have just been shelved, like they've been signed to them, but then they never fucking come out. And I believe it's different with this because you got Dre and Eminem involved. And last time they were involved, 50 obviously dropped his album. So, you know, with them coming together, I think there's a bigger possibility that this guy can blow up and actually come out with an album uh you got dr dre's production eminem's backing like i'm excited to hear this shit you know i hope it puts a spark in you know m and dre and you know i think they need that they need a new fresh guy to come in uh the photo's hard man i know this guy's getting all kinds of dms all kinds of bitches sliding his dms right now he is blowing the fuck up i'm sure his instagram i haven't checked his instagram but that shit's blowing up like it is a hard photo man to have that uh, he is cheesing in that bitch, and I'd be cheesing. I'd be showing all my teeth, bro. All my teeth when I'm smiling. That is cold, man. So salute to him. Let's see. Uh, in February, Easy Mill released a video for Duality single Up Down, which gained the traction, which gained traction after fans noted stylistic similarities to Eminem. About a month later, the later heard the song, and Easy Mill drove from Vegas to Los Angeles to link up with Dre and M for the first time. Uh, he said this, We've never been out there signing a lot of artists, and one of the great things about how we built Shady is how selective we've been, Marshall Mathers said in a statement to Hip Hop and more. It's even rarer that Dre and I signed something together, but I heard Easy's music and was like, this is really special, so I took it to Dre. We both agreed to it. It would be a great fit, and we wanted to work with him right on the spot. Dre added, I'm really only interested in working on shit that sounds different from anything else going on out there, and only then if I, if I feel I can really bring something to it. M played me Easy, and I had that feeling that thing that happens when we both know we found something special and that was it. Let's get to work. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Last time it happened was 50 Cent, so that's a huge kind of thing to live up to. I don't know if this guy's on a on a 50 Cent level, but uh, definitely interesting, man. It is interesting. I'm going to you know keep my eye on this guy's music. Obviously, a lot of people are. If you're a fan of M and Dre, you know, uh, I wish I could play this song. It's nine million times probably copyrighted. Let me see. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna play the song, but I want to check out the views. Yeah, he's already at a million views. I think the last time I saw it was at like seven hundred thousand or something like that, eight hundred thousand. So yeah, man, he's gonna get a lot of publicity. A lot of people checking it out. A lot of people. Uh, I heard the song's pretty good, man. I don't, I don't think. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sold on the whole. This guy's a whole special. Uh, you know, artists and he's doing all these crazy things. But what this goes to show is you never know who's paying attention, man. You never know who is paying attention out there, who's watching your stuff, who is, uh, you know, checking it out. You know, uh, I wish people of that caliber would reach out more and tell people that, hey, yo, I fuck with this, blah, blah, blah. You know, even if they're not signing it or they're not co-signing it, like in public, you know, I, I appreciated the people that actually said to me, hey, I watched your documentary, I watched your videos, it's dope. Like, I've had Chameleon Air, Mike Jones, Wale, uh, you know, off the top of my head, I can't think of a lot. Uh, recently, DJ Khaled, he followed us and actually showed love in the documentary. Uh, so, that's what I mean. Like, I, I like people that show love uh, publicly, mostly. Uh, T-Pain did publicly, I think Chameleon Air did publicly. Uh, and that's it, I think, publicly. But privately, I've gotten, you know, a few people here and there, too, as well, uh, that I, off the top of my head. Uh, I remember being on Ace Hood's mixtape, my video that he saw, he put it on the mixtape, which was cool. So, I, you know, if I ever get to that level where I'm, like, you know, a huge YouTuber, documentary maker, I definitely want to co-sign and shout out people that uh, that are doing dope, you know, that I'm checking out. I think there's nothing nothing wrong with that. I think it motivates, it helps, it inspires. So, you never know who's watching. So, this is a perfect example of that. We're going to keep an eye on this guy and see if he's actually... Uh, you know, worth the cosine of both of them.